Hi, I thought I'd show you the Super Regen FM receiver using one valve. Um, this is a Russian rod pento that's in here. Now, it's obviously not easy to do this um, from a set of headphones because this is what it normally drives. Um, the, the, the phone that I'm using, the microphone, isn't hugely sensitive, so uh, we wouldn't hear anything. So what I've done in this case is I've put this 10K as an anode load in. Uh, it's big so as you can see it <laughs> um, and of course a, a coupling capacitor um, here and put it into the, the, the Muller 33 amplifier that I use as a, a test amp. Now it's not good, the amplifier shows up all its, its discrepancies and all its failings um, and plus the fact the beehive trimmer that I'm using as a tuner has decided that it's got uh, off centre or something because it crackled. Now, that's Radio 2, uh, and I'm using this stick here to tune it. Now, it can be very good. If I get a bit more signal into it by holding the aerial lead, it comes up a bit. Reasonable quality, but it's a very, very lot of noise in the background. Now I'll tune it up, I'll bring it up to Radio 3. It's weak in the background. Um, I'll tune it further up the band. Uh, it's very, very touchy. That's our local West FM. Quality can be quite good, uh, considering it's slope detection. Bring it up to Radio 1. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> You can hear that noise in the background all the time. And further up, classic FM. And above that we've got Radio 4 and 104.3. Now you can hear the whistle in the background, this has come from this, this daft inverter that I'm using. But you can often fiddle about with it. Uh, now it goes into oscillation. Anyway, it's a very touchy little thing. Uh, it certainly works, but uh, I wouldn't really call it uh, uh, entertainment value. A little bit of fun, uh, I suppose. And actually, it does work better with the headphones than it does through an amp because you don't hear all that uh, uh, rumbling and hissing and noise and so on. That might just be something to do with the wee inverter. It might be something to do with the, the, the Russian mod Pentod. I don't know. Uh, but it does prove that the, the IG29B will operate uh, way up into the FM band and above. Um, and to be fair, when you get it right, uh, after a lot of fiddling about, it's very good and it's very sensitive. Anyway, thanks for looking. Um, I don't know if anyone else wants to have a call, but certainly uh, wild away a few hours for me. Okie doke. Thank you. Bye bye.